What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. So, someone in my comment section, what do you call yourself? Delano, Layman, Loman, 7577? Okay. You asked me a question. See, you said you disagree that Wilder lost the first fight with Fury, and then you brought up punch stats, numbers, and all that. Okay. And you made a comparison to you said what's what's tell me what's the difference tell you what's the difference between um, Fury and Wilder one versus Kovalev um, and Andre Ward um, one which has nothing to do with the other. Okay, so let me answer it this way because pretty much I say everything I need to say in the video. I feel like especially in this one that you that you referenced. Okay, let me let me explain this to you. Bringing up examples, again, see, you are a perfect example of what I mean about people ask certain questions or try to bring something up just to create a diversion to get off what the actual subject really is. You know, out of everything I said in that video, you felt that you wanted to address the fact that you feel like you disagree that Fury won the first fight. Well, that's okay, but you got a whole lot more than people, people than just me, that feel like Fury won that fight. And in fact, you say that he won more rounds than just the rounds that he knocked Fury down in. No, nah, I didn't see that. Okay, um, so when I said, plain and simple, well, one of the judges had Canelo win in the fight against Floyd Mayweather. But I'm not on crack, so I can see that there. Hell no, there's no way you can give Canelo Alvarez any fucking rounds he got dominated any rounds not to mention even if you wanted to give him rounds you can't give him enough to, 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 to get no type of split decision majority decision nothing okay so if you want to sit here and talk about punch stats and you're comparing ward well for one let me just say ward didn't win that first fight in my opinion you said well he 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 won the later rounds and the, no no no, I didn't see him winning later rounds. What I saw was Kovalev let off the gas several times. Ward was landing little shots on the inside, off hitting on the punching on the clinch and stuff like that. Ward didn't do enough. In my opinion, I thought Ward lost that fight. Second fight was something completely different. But the first fight, no. So when you say what's different, first off, Fury and Wilder, was barely throwing a lot of punches in that first fight. But Fury was outlanding him. Clearly. It's the two knockdowns that they gave. They wound up saying it was a draw. I don't care about that. How many fucking fights have we seen where it was considered a draw or we thought, okay, well, example, example. I felt like Lomachenko lost to Devin Haney. You know how many people saying, nah, nah, Lomachenko won every round. So we can sit here and go back and forth about what a punch that said. We can sit here and go back and forth about who you really think won a fight. That has nothing to do with the importance of the video. So your opinion is not a fact. My opinion is not a fact. Okay, so my opinion is my opinion. In my opinion, Wilder got his ass whooped in all three fights. Okay, now, if you want to talk about stats and all that, let's talk about all the fucking excuses being made that Fury cheated in all those fights. He had an egg weight that nobody saw, but he had one. He had no padding in the glove, but nobody approved anything. And for me to know what it's like to be punched with a glove with or without padding, I would have known something wasn't right. So when I say things like, well, why this man sat in that goddamn corner? And didn't say ref Check his gloves Even after the fight That dude don't have no panties Nothing No nothing was said In fact The excuses Those didn't even come from Wilder They came from his fanboy channels And Wilder rolled that wave So we're going to ignore all of that And you want to bring up A point of saying You think that While you said you disagree You think that Wilder Won the first fight Or, or it was a draw Whatever Okay well you, 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 whether you agree it was a draw or you think Wilder won, that it changes nothing. Okay, all of that you're focusing on 
That's not the focus of my video. It was something that was mentioned, but that's not the focus of my video. The focus is bottom line. He needs to fight Zhang or fight another top level opponent. So if he wants to earn his spot back, that's what it's called earning, not being given something. This is what I mean. See, you while the fans come with the deflections and want to try to change the course of a conversation to take it to something that's less important than what the overall, okay, moral of the story is. The moral of the story, how much time did I even spend talking about him and Fury uh, uh, fight one? No, I made the mention of it and I still say Fury won that fight. I don't give a shit about Fury. I don't even like Fury as a fighter. Okay, and I say Andre Ward, in my opinion, lost that first fight to Kovalev. You say he won. The judges say he won. And that's all that's going to matter, right? Just like they said the first fight with Fury and Wilder was a draw. Do I agree with that? No. No. Okay. Do you think that... Do you think that... Who, fought, who just fought KSI? Was it, it was a tight, uh, um, Tommy Fury. Well, did you think that Tommy Fury really beat KSI? That's what the judges said, though. How many times do people say, well, Floyd Mayweather, he, he really lost to, uh, what's, the, what's the guy's name? Um, bottom line, whatever. I forget his damn name, but bottom line, you guys love to say, see, you, you pick and choose who you want to say won and who lost. I don't care about any of that, man. If you think that 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 Kovalev won against um, that that Ward won against Kovalev won, fine. He got the decision anyway. I mean, Shane Mosley got a decision against De La Hoya, where they had De La Hoya landing more punches, but Shane winning more rounds. And I think the the, the second fight was the opposite in how it went. But bottom line, Shane won both times. Okay. You got people trying to tell me that Floyd really lost to De La Hoya. What? Are you serious? Really? Okay. Does it change the outcome? No. But bottom line is, you want to talk about show me a difference. Well, one thing for sure is, Deontay Wilder is the only fighter in fucking history that I've seen people react this way and make nothing but excuses up for the man losing. And that's what the basis... The, the majority of what I spoke on in that video, and that's what it comes down to. All these goofy-ass excuses and the fact that this man, even though he got his ass whooped, is demanding that, and oh, why shouldn't I be able to fight um, AJ? Well, what people are not saying is this, okay? It's not up to AJ. The Saudis are the ones putting this on. This is not a matchroom deal. Matchroom has nothing to do with this. This is the Saudis putting this on. So guess what? If the Saudis don't want the fight, then it's no fight. So what is Anthony Joshua supposed to do? Put his career on hold and wait for Wilder to play catch up? No. In fact, just like I said, if Wilder had won and AJ had lost, all his fanboy channels would be sitting here talking about how Anthony Joshua blew his chance. That's all they'd be talking about. He's tripping all this shit he's saying. He lost. He messed that up. Okay, <clears throat> let me let me take it this way too. If we sit and look at the history of boxing, we can all see here and dig up fights. I think Thomas Hearns versus Sugar Ray Leonard fight two was a, you know they called it a draw. Sugar Ray Leonard, out his own mouth, said he think Thomas Hearns won the fight. So for Sugar Ray Leonard fans, they can say yeah, well they called it a draw, but guess what? Ray Leonard himself. Said he think Thomas Hearns won. Okay. Who do I like better between Sugar Ray Leonard and Thomas Hearns? Sugar Ray Leonard. What am I telling you? Thomas Hearns won that fight. I don't need you to agree with me. And this is what people fail to realize. We can, we can, we can, we can agree to disagree. But the reality is, again, you're taking the turn to make a diversion to focus on everything other than. It would be like somebody leave a note in your house saying, hey, get out the house. Somebody in the basement is waiting for you to come down there so, you, so, so they can kill you. Don't go in the basement. Get out the house, okay? Don't worry about taking your Nintendo or your Xbox and you sit there and go, oh shit, my Nintendo and my X, I paid money for that. Let me go down and hook my Nintendo on my Xbox 
as if that killer gonna let you walk up out of that basement. So out of everything on the note that was telling you to save yourself, you wanna focus on the Nintendo and the Xbox. Well, guess what? That's not the only thing you bought and paid for in your house now, is it? But somehow, that was more important than the fact that there's a killer in your basement waiting to kill you. See, this is what I mean. You guys come with the deflections, but it doesn't matter. Because the reality is, AJ's moved on. And AJ is, has secured, well, listen, a fight between him and Nganu. You heard AJ say he don't really care for the fight too much. I mean, he, he want to fight for the title. This is not going to hurt him versus Urkovic. See, and this is the thing. If Wilder was getting that spot right now, and AJ had lost... Well, the videos and the conversations would be different because AJ fans wouldn't be sitting there going, man, they should make the fight anyway, even though AJ lost. No, 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 no. This is why I do what I do. Because, see, the type of comment you made is part of what I'm talking about with people making videos and sitting there making sympathy. You know, the closest thing I've seen to people reacting like this with Wilder was this Lomachenko shit. They actually made a, a page for him. Huh? They made an actual page, a Justice for Lomachenko page. Yeah, and, and actually, some of the family brought it to my attention, and I checked it out just for the laugh. Saw that bullshit. Yeah. Well, but it didn't go on for two fucking years, and to this very day, going way past two years now with Fury and Wilder, Wilder fans is still making up excuses. Wilder still making excuses. Just like, for example, I picked Parker to win. You motherfuckers want to give me every example as to why Parker can't win, but after he wins, excuses as to why he won. Oh, he didn't really win. Oh, well, the judge, well, well, they just gave it to Parker. Well, you know what? They shouldn't have gave Wilder Parker because Parker's been active and Wilder hasn't. Every excuse, what does that have to do with the outcome of the fight? None of y'all was saying this shit before the fight. Before the fight, Wilder was going to whitewash this guy. Parker's not on his level. So, the reality is, you bringing up Kovalev versus um, versus um, Andre Ward to make an example, to compare that fight to um, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, one has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Okay, because in fact, I don't give a fuck what the punch that say. Fury definitely, definitely touched Wilder way more than Wilder touched him. And the whole fight, they was throwing like, landing like eight punches around, nine, ten punches. They wasn't landing no big shots. Wasn't a big amount of, but Fury definitely touched him way more than Wilder touched him. And the only fucking rounds that I saw Wilder win was the rounds that he got the knockdowns in. So the rounds that you and your opinion say that he won, okay, cool. They call it a draw. It doesn't change the fact. And you exemplify exactly what I'm saying by even bringing that up to try to combat piggybacking off of what I said. Why? Because simply the fight happened how long ago? Right, and you still want to try to make a claim that no, I disagree that he lost the fight. That's fine. You can disagree, brother. That's fine. But it doesn't change the fact. And that's exactly my point. You always, you guys are always trying to find a way to try to justify Wilder, no matter what. And you know for a fucking fact. Let's say for, say, okay, example. Example, we know that, Jim, since you want to make comparisons, right? We know Jamel Charlo tucked his tail and ran. Why? Because he didn't exercise his rematch clause against Canelo. So we know for a fact he didn't want that smoke. Now, let's say Anthony Joshua decided after he lost to Usyk the first time, he wasn't going to rematch Usyk. Y'all wouldn't have made fun of AJ? Y'all wouldn't have talked shit? This bitch-ass nigga don't even want the fucking rematch. How the fuck you gonna not rematch the nigga that just took your title? Yeah, okay. Title or not, bottom line is, you lose to a guy, and all y'all managed to talk about, yeah, y'all talk shit about him losing, because y'all talking about if Usyk gets hit by Wilder, he's going to sleep. Yeah, see, that's the problem. See, Wilder don't fight these guys that AJ fight. He don't fight the top level guys. Yeah, he, don't, he doesn't do that. So it's easy to talk about what you think would happen versus what's going to actually happen. He has to want the fight for one. Okay, you think AJ did have a title. Why? He's only talking his shit because he knows that the fight's not going to happen. I guarantee you if AJ had a loss, 
Wilder and his fans would not be protesting that Wilder should fight AJ. They'd be saying, nah, AJ lost his chance. And the only confidence that they would have in that happening is if AJ went in and looked bad and lost that, okay, we know Wilder's going to win that fight. So make it happen. Why not? But no, y'all be saying the same thing. AJ doesn't deserve that. He was supposed to win and he didn't. Simple. 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 So the fact that Joseph Parker beat the shit out of Wilder, right? See how y'all not talking about that? You exemplify. Like I said, you're doing exactly what I'm talking about. That's what you Wilder fans do. Okay, now I don't know and don't care if you're a Wilder fan or not, but you're trying to justify this shit. So it's like, well, you're still making an invalid point because we're still at odds with how you see the fight first fight versus the way I see the first fight. But what does that have to do with Andre Ward and Kovalev? Because in my opinion, Kovalev won that first fight against Andre Ward. And I guarantee you, if I put a poll, matter of fact, just because you said that, I'm going to put a poll up. I'm going to put a poll up in my community section asking, who do you think? Do you legitimately think Andre Ward won or Kovalev won? And I'm telling you right now, before I do it, I guarantee you the majority of people are going to say Andre Ward was gifted that win. And I, for one, don't think he won that first fight against Kovalev. Okay. Not only did he get knocked down, but he was getting bullied. He was getting beat to the punch. And the only thing that was happening, like I said, his times in the fight with Kovalev was taking his foot off of the gas. But Ward wasn't landing shit significantly. Okay? And let's be real. Kovalev's a white dude. So if you're touching his face, he's going to swell up and bruise. Okay? Simple. Kovalev... Every time he let his hands go, you kept seeing Andre Ward's head snap back. How many times have you heard people say, such and such is throwing punches, but such and such is landing the more telling blows. His head snapping back. He's doing this, he's doing that. Okay, let me give you something about Devin Haney versus Lomachenko, for example. There was no knockdowns in the fight, right? But what I saw, okay, in my opinion, Devin Haney, was landing shots and especially the body shots well if you sat back and just decided i'm going to count every punch that devin haney landed right your number might end up being different from copy box numbers okay not to mention okay not to mention people don't they don't react to body shots the way they land they do the head shots so i felt like the rounds that lomachenko won well, he was getting people's attention more because, you know, him landing the shots and you were seeing Haney with that fucking long hair flopping back. But they was overlooking those body shots and the fact that Haney was landing his shots inside that they just simply wasn't paying attention to. The commentators was talking while Haney was landing shots and wasn't pointing a lot of things out. See, there's a lot that you got to factor in. So for your opinion to be that it was a draw or you think that Deontay won, it still doesn't change anything else Because now we can't even stop at just fight one We gotta look at fight two and fight three Which all y'all did was made excuses for So your point Being what You just disagree with something That's okay if You still feel the same way you feel Great brother I still feel the same way I feel And at the end of the day I'm pretty sure if I did a poll on What's more important My opinion on who won the first fight between uh, uh, um, between Wilder and Fury Or what's the most important parts about that video I said Huh Huh My opinion on Fury versus Wilder fight one Or everything else like He needs to fight Zhang and get his spot back Why is he not rematching Joseph Parker Why all of a sudden Now is this such a, a big need to want to fight Anthony Joshua Knowing damn well if AJ lost AJ would be in the same position He has to fight his way back Right. Just like I said, y'all made this big deal about, oh, and Ganu versus Wilder. That's going to be a great fight, yo. Yo, yo, man. The, 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 the second best heavyweight in boxing versus the, you know, the best heavyweight, you know, MMA. Right. Because y'all admitted defeat to Fury after saying he did nothing but cheat it. Now, that being said, I know people would say, yeah, fuck the first fight. I think he lost too. But what's more important is everything else happening right now. 
And you know why y'all can't focus on now? You choose to bring up the theory and Wilder comment in that first fight that I made versus what's important is right now. Because your mindset is exactly what I'm talking about. You guys focus on bullshit because right now you and nobody else can't give a fucking logical explanation as to why Wilder should not fight Zilla Zane or another top, pro another top fighter. Why shouldn't he fight Andy Ruiz? Why doesn't he want to rematch the guy that beat him? Right. So all the criticism that Wilder and his fans had for AJ, isn't it funny how the tables turn? And now all of a sudden y'all crying and eating crow because he got his ass whooped. I said everything I needed to say about AJ and Wilder and addressing this situation going forward. So I address your question because I want to put out to bring it to the forefront. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So when people hear me speak, they can go into my comment section and look at the type of shit that people say. This is what I'm saying. This is why I posted the picture of this guy that made that video talking about there's a secret society trying to go against Wilder once again. They're trying to get him out of boxing. What the fuck is wrong with you guys, man? You can't tell me. You can't sit here and give me any explanation that makes sense as to why Wilder shouldn't have to work his way back. Just like me saying, it's a fact. Wilder had not fought in a year where he fought Hellenius, but Hellenius was active. Nobody brought up the fact, you know, that ring rust, Wilder was out for a year then because he came in and starched him in one round. But again, Joseph Parker isn't Robert Hellenius. So when he comes in there and all of a sudden now, he gets shut out for 12 rounds. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the fact that Joseph Parker won fair and square. No, we're going, oh, well, he had an unfair advantage. Oh, he shouldn't have gave him that person. Right. So, no, Aries said a lot of valid shit in this video. But I'm not going to address the fact that Joseph Parker just went there and whooped Wilder's ass. And no, Wilder should not be gifted a fucking position. He lost. That was the agreement. No different from people saying, since you want to make comparisons, right? No different from people saying, no. No. Errol Spence has no argument. And he can't make a point against Terrence Crawford and fight him at 154. He doesn't have to. The agreement was that the winner dictate, dictates the weight and all that, right? I agree a thousand percent. I have no argument with that. The point I made in the video is that Errol Spence is saying he wants the rematch, but at 154. Am I telling you guys something that you didn't know right here? It come out of his mouth. So what I was saying was it's obvious that Errol Spence feels like it was a weight issue that he'd do better at 154. How many people have said they think Well Spence would do better at 154? I don't know that he'll do better at 154. I'm saying it's obvious that the weight was an issue for him. So when people say, well, the weight was an issue for Crawford too, what are you telling me that for? I'm not talking about Crawford. I'm talking about Errol Spence. Errol Spence was the one who said they should fight at 154, not Aries. I'm repeating what he said. To make the point that Errol Spence didn't make any excuses. Yet, even though he didn't make excuses, people that are Crawford fans are talking shit. Why? They're arguing because they just want to hear, plain and simple, oh, the way you had nothing to do with it. Well, when we're giving boxing news, the fact that Errol Spence was the one that said he want the rematch, definitely he want to do it again, but at 154. Is that not a clear indication that the weight was an issue to him. So that's not Aries making up a goddamn excuse for nobody. I'm saying common sense. If the weight wasn't an issue, then wouldn't Errol Spence want to do it again at 147? Especially for the fact that there's no undisputed titles on the line at 147? I mean at 154? So the fact that people are too ignorant to stick to a topic, that's not my problem. You understand what I'm saying? And I agree. Yeah. Well, he could do it at 154. The reason, at 147 or whatever, or if they don't want to do it at 154. And the other reason that people brought that up is because Terrence Crawford said, oh, no, we could definitely do it at 154. There's no problem. Then somebody on his team said, nah, if Errol Spence want the fight, it's 147 or no fight. So that's where people were saying, okay, wait. But also... Since you want to hold people to their word, 
Yeah, Crawford is the one who said no problem. He could definitely do it at 154. He doesn't have to. But I said, if he goes to 154 to fight Jamel Charlo, then he can fight Crawford at um, um, Spence at 154. But the difference in that is if he goes to 154 to fight Charlo, he's going to fight for undisputed. There's no title on the line at 154, okay, with Spence, which means this would just be to prove dominance at him over him at 154 or 147. But I said I don't think he's wrong if he fights him only at 147. The problem is same. It's no problem. We can fight at 154. See, so a lot of times you guys just start talking off your emotions because you listen. But before you even get to, um, through the whole video, you already fixated on one point because you have a disagreement. That's okay. You think everybody agree with everything someone says? Do you think that I care about that? I surely don't. I stand on what I say. And see, more importantly, instead of trying to focus on some petty shit, give me logical explanations as to why Wilder should not be fighting Zelle Zane. Why some fucking secret society is formed because you motherfuckers are so used to Wilder fighting meatballs that when he has to step up and fight an actual top level fighter, goddamn, it's a conspiracy theory now. You never heard me make any excuses for anybody. And all the people that's talking about why Spence lost and all, I don't know. All I know, as I said, the dude didn't look right. And I also said, even at 100%, he's going to have to be different to beat Crawford. Crawford's just going to have to be Crawford. But Spence is going to have to make adjustments. And this situation with Deontay Wilder, he's pathetic. He's a poor fighter. He's pitiful. You can disagree with that too. But you know what you can't disagree with? The two times he stepped up. You, know, you can disagree with this too. It doesn't make a difference to me. Your words don't change the reality and the facts. And the facts is the two elite names he had on his resume, he lost to both of them. And you can talk about cheating, glove gate, poison water, which another fact is his test came back clean. But yet he had water, his water was poisoned. Then all of a sudden, somebody put the hoojus on him. Okay, well, all those excuses don't change the facts. And that's what kill you guys. And that's what throws you guys off. And why you try to find petty shit to make as a valid point to debate and argue. I don't debate or argue. But I'm responding to your question because it's too much to say for me to type all that shit back to you. So the reality is I did respond and now I'm responding with a video message. See, being delusional and being in denial will prevent you Okay, it will impede your ability to think with common sense. And this is why people say things. I'm pretty sure you feel you said a mouthful making that compa that comparison to Kovalev and Ward and, and Tyson Fury and, 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 and Wilder, but it basically means absolutely nothing. And we're obviously on the opposite side of the fence on that as well. Because no, in my mind, in my opinion, my strong opinion, there's no way Andre Ward won that fight against Kovalev. Now, people started to say after watching the fight again, they saw it differently or they saw why it could have went either way. I watched that fight at least 12 times and I still feel the same way. Who did I want to win? Andre Ward. So I don't do the bias thing. So what your opinion is, it's the same thing as Fury versus Wilder doesn't make a difference to me what your opinion is my opinion is my opinion okay if I wasn't sure about something I wouldn't speak on it if I didn't feel strongly about something I wouldn't speak on it I've been asked several questions about different things and I've made people know I'm not sure about that that's something I got to watch and check out okay I watched that fight and I still feel like Andre Ward lost that fight now compare the first fight to the second it was as different as night and fucking day it doesn't change the fact of the first fight of what I feel, what I saw. Okay? It is what it is. And the reality is, Deontay Wilder, since you want to bring up the first fight and allude to that, right? Because I made a comment, well, do you open your mouth to speak, to debunk this bullshit about Wilder saying he never had opportunities that AJ had when he out of his own mouth, okay, tweeted 
Tyson Fury said, AJ offered me way more money to fight him than I getting to fight you. But I'm a man of my word. How do you do you open your mouth to debunk that? And I can tell you the reason why he chose Fury is because he was never confident that he could beat AJ. And him and Fury used each other as a way as to freeze AJ out. Huh? Huh? Do you do you debunk that bullshit that Wilder's saying? Do you open your mouth to debunk when Wilder sat here and sent a tweet? Huh? To Dylan White saying, I will freeze you out for the next two years, which was another opportunity that he blew. Do, do you do you open your mouth to debunk Wilder for saying that kind of shit? Huh? And he sat there and showed Barack and whatever the other guy name is from this. He showed them the tweet. Huh? He posted the fucking tweet. Huh? Do, do you do you do you open your mouth to debunk or correct Wilder when Wilder says stupid shit? Because all I see in here is a bunch of excuses for Wilder. Like he's a big ass baby, like I said. Now, everything I said in that video. And for you to focus on, oh, well, you said that he lost. I disagree. Okay. Again, you are a prime example of what I mean about people making excuses for Wilder. Because if we talk about that, we're not focusing on what just happened. Let's go back to there. Since Aries mentioned it. Fine. No problem that you address what you felt, but it doesn't change anything. And it shows you clearly don't want to talk about the reality of what's right now. And that's why you focus on that bullshit. Simply because Wilder's in a position y'all don't want him to be in. Because y'all scared that that big Chinaman gonna smash his little skinny narrow ass. That's what the problem is. Y'all don't want him. And his, his, y'all don't want him to have to prove himself. And it's already said and made factual that they don't want that. Oh, he shouldn't have to fight that. Seven, eight sports, all these different channels then chimed in. They could just make the fight. Well, I just make the fight. Y'all asking the wrong people. And y'all, and, and instead of telling the truth, and this is how you know they don't know shit about what's going on, you don't hear not one of them say it's not because of AJ Hearn and Matron. They have nothing to do with this. They didn't even, they didn't even put the money up for the first for the for the day of record of the event in the first place. Okay, this is the Saudis. They don't want the fight. Not AJ and Hearn. They don't want it. But you tell me that it makes sense to reward a fucking loser? Just just make the fight. Yeah, y'all know that Wilder's on borrowed time right now. He's a little older than AJ. His clock is ticking faster. That's what it is. That's why y'all saying that shit. But you know what? Just like I said in the previous video, if... If if Anthony Joshua and, and and Wilder was next, after AJ knocked his little skinny ass out, the first thing gonna come out your mouth is, you know why AJ was so quick to take this fight? Because Wilder's coming off a loss. He know Wilder not the same. He gonna need at least two or three fights to get back in. Okay, right. He gonna need at least two or three fights, and the man is thirty eight already. Yeah. Why well, Wilder don't fight three four times a year, you know. So he'll be ready for AJ by the time he's 41. And I remember before him saying he wanted to retire by the time he was 40, right? So let me say this, y'all. Him coming off of a loss would have been an excuse. And you know what y'all wouldn't have said? It ain't got nothing to do with AJ. It's the fight the Saudis wanted. See, you gotta, you, 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 you gotta be on top of your game before you confront me about some shit and understand. If you gonna combat me, combat me with the truth, not your opinion. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all on the next video.